Are you a content creator looking for a solution to back up all of your content? Well, do I have something for you? Let's get into it. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Havoc. Welcome back to the channel. Being a content creator myself, I'm always looking for ways to make sure I back up all my video files. That's where this device comes in, the ASUS Store AS5404T. ASUS Store did not sponsor this video, but they did send this product along for us to unbox and review for you today. One thing I wanna talk about before we get to unboxing this is I plan on making this device a multi-part series. So for this video, we're gonna unbox it and take a look at the features. And then going forward, my plan is to make videos about this device specifically targeted at content creators, whether you're a streamer or you create a video on demand. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on those future videos. Now let's get to the video and take a look at the ASUS Store AS5404T. So you can see here we have the ASUS Store AS5404T. It is a four bay hot swappable NAS. If you don't know what a NAS is, NAS stands for Network Attached Storage. It's a device you put hard drives in and it runs usually 24 seven, sits on your network and you can copy files to it, back up to it, etc. I have some really fun ideas we're gonna use this for, and uh, we'll talk about that here in a little bit. But let's take a look at the features here. We have a quad-core CPU. I believe this has one of the newer Intel CPUs that um, is available for NASes. It comes with four gigs of RAM. We can upgrade that. I plan on buying RAM and upgrading it to 16 gigs in the future. And if you wanna see a video on how I do that, just let me know in the comment section below. Four. M.2 SSD slots. We have three USB 3.2 ports, two 2.5 gig LAN ports. That's awesome because it has 2.5 gig built into it. Unlike some of the other devices out there where you have to buy an external like USB-C network card to make it 2.5 gig, this has it all built in. Hardware transcoding, what that means is it will transcode your video on the device and if you're using like a maybe Amazon Fire Stick to watch Plex or movies off of this device, this device will handle all of the, the, the back end beefy work that a device like a Roku or a Amazon Fire Stick cannot. So you're not gonna have buffering and stuttering of your video playback. Magnetic front cover and then a three year warranty. It does have HDMI. So let's go ahead and crack this guy open. And I haven't looked at this at all, so we're doing this together for the first time. A lot of QR codes there for us to take a look at how to do some things. That's probably a power supply. We'll take a look at that. What else we got in here? And then we got the device itself. All right, turn the light off there real quick so you don't have a shine up above the device here because it has the film. I'm not going to take that off just yet. I'm going to wait until I put drives in it, etc. before I pull that, peel that off. We have a USB 3.2 um, on the front. On the top, we just have fans, etc. Stuff on the bottom there. And then on the back, here's the, the good stuff we're looking at. So we have two more 3.2 gig USB-A ports. We have an HDMI port and then our two 2.5 gig LAM ports. Looks like down here is, yep, that's the Kensington lock port. So if you want to lock it down and then we have the DC jack um, to plug it into power. It did say that it has a magnetic front. We'll look at that in a second. Let's go ahead and open this guy up. Yep, this is our AC adapter and then network cable uh, screws for hard drive installation, I'm assuming. Oh, those might be for the um, M.2. We have two network cables, so let's end in the power cord. So it's awesome that they sent network cables for both ports if you want to plug them in. Speaking of LAN, one thing I wanted to note is AC Store also sent along a um, 2.5 gig switch for me to use with this device. So it's a, it's a five port unmanaged switch. So this is going to be going into our network as well. Uh, once we get this device installed. It said magnetic front. Yep, just pops right off. We'll put the cover aside there. The way you get a hard drive in there, you would just pop this front part. It'll make a little click, it unlocks, and you pull it out. Here is your hard drive tray. Your hard drive sits in there. It is toolless, which is great. I'll show you how to install the hard drives here in a bit. I'll put this back in locks right in. That's really it for the device itself. Let me go grab some hard drives. We'll get them installed in here 
and start booting it up and look at the setup. All right, so I have three eight terabyte Seagate Iron Wolf drives. These are the red Iron Wolves that are meant for stuff like SANS and NASs. So let's go ahead and get these installed. Like we talked about before, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click one of these trays out and we're gonna do three of them because that's how many drives we have, obviously. We'll do the three left ones here. So what we'll do is we need to pop the side cover here off the rails. And what we'll do is pop these out just like that. There's a little tab you can just pull it right out. Put your drive in. And then there's little tabs. You want to make sure the tabs just go in the holes of the drive. And obviously make sure the SATA and power connections are on the back part of the drive tray. So let me get these three installed and we'll boot this thing up and take a look at it. Back here at the PC, I have the device plugged into my network. It is powered on. It made its beeps like it is ready to go. Now what we need to do is you need to go to acc.asusstore.com in your browser. I'll put the link in the description below as well. ACC is their uh, Asus Store Control Center and that's how you're going to set up the NAS. Let's go ahead and open the software up. So as you can see, it found my device on the network. Click on the uninitialized option. It's going to open up the web browser here and we will get to go through and start setting all of this up. So next, and it says, how do you want to update stuff in the future? Um, and ADM is available. Updating ADM is recommended as provided the best performance. The ADM is their basically software that runs on the device. So I think what I might do here is I'm, instead of actually manually updating it right now, I'm just gonna set up the NAS. So here we are, system initialization uh, to begin installing your NAS. Follow the directions, right? Um, do you want light mode, dark mode? You know we gotta go dark mode, right? Um, here we have uses optimized settings, one click setup. Uh, I want to actually manually do the setup. So I'm gonna choose custom. And what do you want to name the device? So here is where we're gonna put whatever we want to be called on our network. Then we have an account name. So this is gonna be something um, like a username for it. And then the password. Go ahead and enter your info there. Choose your time zone, your date, time format, 12 hour clock, etc. Network interfaces, you can choose if you want to have DHCP or set up the IP address manually. I suggest you do it manually and have it just kind of be a static address. That way you always know what the address is. You never have to worry about, oh, the address changed, now my network shares are broken, etc. So enter all your information there. Now we can see we're at the settings where how it wants us to set up our hard drives. So we can see here, I've got the three hard drives, the eight terabytes, and what RAID level we want. So we can click here and choose our RAID level, what format we want. Do we want X4 or BTRFS? You can click on these and get an idea of what they do. So choose whatever file system is gonna work for you. I'm gonna go RAID 5 just for the redundancy. Uh, I'm gonna choose all the drives. It's gonna say, hey, you're gonna lose your data. Then you have to click confirm. So you can go ahead and hit start initialization if you're ready to go. And once you hit the go button there, it gives you the information of what it's doing initialization. So you see we have hard drive partition, we're setting up the system volumes, data volumes, and then it's probably gonna go through and set up some of the admin stuff, language, et cetera. Um, it should throw us into a screen, I believe, once this is all done, where we can log into the device and take a look at all the settings and what it's all about. So now we're actually into the system, we're logged in and we're greeted with this screen and welcome to Asus Store Data Master. We'll go ahead and hit start. It's gonna kind of walk us through what everything does. Uh, do multiple people use this NAS? Yes or no for whatever um, you do. Uh, so I don't need multiple accounts for, for what I'm doing. And then you can see here, uh, File Explorer is where your files are gonna be. You can click that to start browsing and uh, you can drag and drop files into here via the browser if you wish or hit the little upload button there and create files or folders with that button i most likely won't be doing any of it through the adm here 
um, I'll probably be doing most all of this through Windows shares and, and network. So um, you can see like your default storage folders. Um, do I want to learn how to share a folder? I don't for what we're doing here. We're just getting it initially set up. And then um, do you want to access files on this NAS from a Windows File Explorer? That I actually do want to do. Um, so yes, I want to access it. And it says type in the address um, in your file explorer. So you can go ahead and just make sure whatever your IP address is, you type that into your web browser slash slash IP address. And then do you want to access this NAS from outside the local network? I do not uh, for what I'm doing, but if you do, you can click the yes. It's probably going to walk you through how to set up network connections open on your firewall or your router. So you can access this remotely. Eventually I probably will because of the amount of applications they have for the phone. Um, when it comes to backing up your videos and your pictures and stuff via your phone. So for, for what I'm doing right now for this project, I don't need to do that. So this is going to be only local inside the network. And then do you want to receive notifications from this NAS? I do not. Um, but if you want to, you can click yes. And then we have ADM Defender, um, exposing your NAS to internet and reduce small amount of risk. You can set this up um, if you want to enable like automatic blacklists for um, data production. And then we have, you can enable it here. We'll do next here. And then click apply. And you have now set up your NAS. So. If you go to the help, apparently they have a lot of different videos and articles that you really deep dive into this. And there you have it. That's how you install the hard drives and initially set up your ASUS Store AS5404T. Thank you again to my friends over at ASUS Store for sending this along for this project. Again, I'm gonna do more videos here soon that specifically cover how to utilize this device as a content creator, whether you are a live streamer or you are creating content that's a video on demand. So make sure you're following. Until next time, stay safe, have fun, and keep doing good.